This is the clip library. Here you can find your samples, one shots and loops. So you can filter by genre and instrument type and you get the results down here. So for example here I've selected house music I could then choose loops and then when you click play it'll start auditioning it's on the beat so then audition another one and they'll always start on the beat when you're auditioning loops So you can click the stop button here to stop it playing or click here to start and stop it playing. Once you've found a loop that you want to use, you click the tick and it'll bring it into the world. So now I could go and find another couple of loops that fit together. As you can see, these all play in sync. Now what I could do now is drag the loops together and that will create a scene or a collection of loops which can then be triggered and stopped in sync together. So if I grab another couple of loops, put these on top of each other, and they have two separate scenes. I can then drag scenes together to build a song or a stack of scenes. And these will play exclusively. So if I play the bottom one, and I can play the top one, it'll stop the bottom one. And the same thing happens if you trigger individual clips. Play this one. Play this one, we'll stop that one. Now every clip and song or scene has an eye or info button on it. And this enables you to add effects at any level within this stack. So if I just wanted to add an effect to this, I click the eye on this. And then here, I'm just editing the effect on this one clip, or the volume of this one clip. Or, I could add an effect here instead and it'll affect both of these clips then. If I add a filter here, And the same thing applies if I was to add an effect here, it would apply to both of these stacks, so everything inside. Working with one shots is slightly different. So I can browse drums and audition them here. And open them into the world. So I've opened a bass drum, a snare. When I drag these together, it's forming something that's more like a drum kit or a sample pad.
I can then position these in space and move the owner around and they'll both move. You can still add effects for each individual one shot in exactly the same way or add effects to the entire kit. So I've just added a reverb there.